okay, everyone's exhausted because this isn't easy. And we never said it, it would be easy, but we are armed in MCH with some really important tools that I want to remind us that we have, strengthen our resolve once more to tackle these, tackle these tough issues. We have, uh, we have a law behind us. We have a legal, legal mandate behind us that has stood the test of time. It has been said that the Title V, Title V of the Social Security Act, and it's true, it's the longest standing part of that law, all, all the rest of it has either been sunsetted or changed. This is the only one that exists in almost its, its original form. We have a strong partnership between the federal government and the states that supports our work. It supports it at, at an individual state level. It also supports it at a, at a collective level. And we have the legacy of commitment and conviction that was left by our founders and all kind of great leaders over the past hundred years. We have a rich history to draw upon. We had great forward thinking people that laid the way for us, that paved the way for us. And so we don't need to go alone. The path has already been, been forged for us. And we have an enduring and very powerful mandate to assure the health of all mothers and children. It sounds daunting, but again, we're the only ones that have this mandate. Every other program that we interact with has a, narrow, a more narrowly constricted mandate to treat substance abusing pregnant women, to feed children under the age of five, to uh, investigate child abuse reports. I mean, they all have a piece, but we're the only ones that have this broad responsibility to make sure that all of these families get what they need to thrive. And I've, I've often heard people say, well, but we have the least amount of money, and that's true in the scheme of things. We have this overwhelming mandate and hardly any resources compared to a lot of these other programs. But I have found over the years, you don't need any money to get to the table. That mandate is your ticket to the table. I am here because I'm the one responsible. I'm the conscience of this community. I am the social and economic imperative for the future of this country, and I need to be at this table and engaging in these discussions at a system level. We also have access to much of the data that those other programs depend upon to understand what are the needs in their communities and are they being effective in those, in those categorical programs and meeting the needs of their constituents. We're looking at the whole thing. They're each looking at their own piece, but we have the data on the population and we can monitor the trends and see what had the benefit that you thought it would, what had an unintended consequence, what did we miss. In, 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 in all of this, so the work we do, the surveillance we do, the data collection we do, the needs assessments we do, the asset mapping we do, all of it helps us move a systems agenda forward because it helps our colleagues. They want that information. They need it.